Yannick Sinner versus Hubi Hercatch is the final of the Hello Open for 2024. And both ways have had different roads to get to this stage. Hercatch into the tournament as the number five seed, and we'll take on Kabali in the first round. And after a close second set, we'll get through in straights. 7-5, seven, 7-6. Seven, in the second round, he take on Duckworth, the qualifier. And again, after a close first set, we'll get through in straights. 7-6, seven, 6-4. Six, six, in the quarterfinals, he take on Giron, who had taken out Rublev and Berrettini along the way. And again, after a first set tiebreak, we'll get through in straights. 7-6, seven, 6-4. Six, six, in the semifinals, he take on Zverev, the number two seed, who had just been in the French Open final a couple weeks ago. But again, after a first set tiebreak, Herkic would get through in straights. 7-6, seven, 6-4 six, six, to advance to the final. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one seed, and we'll take on Grigspor in the first round. Now, dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 6-7, six, 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, in the second round, he'd take on Marajan, and after dropping the second set, would win in three. 6-4, six, 6-7, six, 6-3. Six, in the quarterfinals, he'd take on Struff, who had just taken out Sidney past the sixth seed in the previous round. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, it went down to the wire, with Sinner winning the final set tiebreak, 6-2, six, 6-7, six, seven, seven, six, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, he'd take on Zhong, who'd beaten Medvedev along the way. And this was by far the best match for Sinner, getting to in straights, 6-4, six, 7-6, seven, six, to advance to the final. These two guys have played four times before, with the head-to-head split down the middle, 2-2, two, two, but they haven't played in over a year, last time being in Monte Carlo last year, where Sinner came back to win in a close three-setter. It'd also be their first match on grass against each other, which which might give Hercatch a little bit of an edge. If Hercatch is going to win this one, he needs to serve well. And if it gets to a tie break, he's going to have to win those tie breaks because we know that Sinner this week hasn't been the best in the tie breaks. He's only won a couple of them out of the five that he's played. Hercatch undefeated in tie breaks this week. So if it does go to a tie break with that serve and with that aggression that he's been using on the grass, he's got to win those tie breaks. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to be patient and he'll probably also get off to a good start because he's played a lot more tennis than Hercatch this week. He's played a lot of three-setters, of course. He almost went to a three-setter in the semis as well. He avoided that just, so he's probably gonna have to win the first set here and also try and return well against that Hercatch serve. Really fun matchup here. These guys are really good friends. They actually played doubles together this week in the tournament, but I have to go with Sinner in this one just because he is unbeatable this year. And outside of the clay courts, he's looked unstoppable. I know he's been tough this week, but I reckon he gets this one done in three sets in the final, but let me know down in the comments below who's gonna win the final.